So, uh, today we do not gather in the Slayer's Take, for this mission is not directly from the Slayer's Take, but rather from a short, scarred, uh, blonde-haired, gold-armored wearing halfling um, who marched into the bar, uh, grabbed herself a drink, and is rounding up a bunch of Slayer's Take members to assist her in a job. Um, Lady Kima Vord um, stands on a table before you and looks over the, the bunch and goes, All right, well, I guess you'll all do pretty nicely. Um, I mean, it was either you or that old man over there talking to nothing? Or is that a furry hat he's got in his arms? I don't know, but maybe we won't take him along. Uh, hello, yes. So, who, who do I have here? Who's, who's helping me out today? Um... Uh, my name's Sparrow, and uh, I'll, I'll follow any any instructions you give me to the best of my ability. That is great. And uh, you, dwarvy fellow with all, even more scars than I have. Greetings. My name's Barrel Wash. Happy to help out. Hello, Barrel uh, Wash. I presume you want something attacked by a large animal, because uh, that's kind of my speciality. No! No, I, I, I do not. I'll... Um, no. That's all right. I I can adapt on the fly. We'll we'll figure something out. Yes. Can also help with attacks of wild animals. Great. Wild animal. At least that's what the car gets told. Uh, oh, oh, now you seem like a nice cat. Don't worry. And oh, you look significantly more normal than everybody else in the room. Hello. Smiles at oh, Sophie. Me. Well, normal might be the wrong word. You are rather wonderful in the eyes, but you're not a giant cat person or offering to turn to an animal. Oh, God, no. Well, that's good. You might have heard of me, actually. I'm Sophia Silvestra. I've been touring a lot of the taverns around here, making quite the stir. You, traditionally, when I tour taverns, it tends to involve more ballroom brawls than uh, musical accompaniment. Although, sometimes there is musical accompaniment to my ballroom brawls. Oh, well, change is good. You should try it sometime. You're, you're absolutely right. I think I should. Uh, anyway, right. Mission. So, a little while ago, some of your fellows helped me capture um, a bunch of weird criminals types. Members of the clasp. One of the, uh, the weird criminal types, a guy called uh, Handsome Johnny was a mage who got his face all messed up in the incident. Pretty nasty, actually. Seems like a devil pulled all the jewelry out of his face. Kind of bleh. Anyway, he is refusing to talk and give up the clasp headquarters, which we need to know if we're going to crack down on them properly and deal with this once and for all. Now, unfortunately, apparently, invading people's minds is too aggressive a technique. So he's going to just hang out in prison uh, with the information we need to know. So what I need you guys to do is I'm going... Beam up. Beam up, right? N maybe, but he's okay, in prison, so there's a first step. The so first... efficient with tickle torture. Is that why you have a feather duster? Oh, no. Do not need a duster. Oh, Okay. The, the tail. Never mind. Um, so, I have four prisoners who are supposed to be going to the Redemption Detention Center. However, they're going to instead be spending an afternoon in the basement here. Or maybe a couple of afternoons, depends on how it goes. And you are all going to take their place, sneak, well, be put into the prison, find your way to Handsome Johnny, and Find some way of getting him to give you the information that you need. The information is the location of the clasp hideout. I um have a quick question. <clears throat> Shoot, tiny halfling. Uh, actually, I, I suppose I haven't done this for a while. I am a, a uh, turtle. <laughs> she blinks at you. <laughs> I, I'm not entirely sure what one of those are, but okay. <coughs> It, it's fine, but I'm still female. Well, I'm always female. Um, uh, 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 my questions. Um, the the prisoners that you're keeping here, 
Are you not concerned about maybe their bodies being stolen or them being devoured? Shouldn't they be kept somewhere safer, like uh, uh, anywhere? I thought bodies being stolen or devoured? Why would that happen here? This is a pub, isn't it? Uh, yes, but it's not very secure because it's just a, a pub. You're right. I will put them somewhere else. That's probably safer. Okay. Sorry, I'll Herc. figure something else out. The raccoons! They're, they're telling me that I'm supposed to drink the, the ah, tears of a waffle. Um, okay, that's that's, not, that's why I didn't bring him along. Um, so, yeah, you got to take their place. Everyone kind of understand that? Uh, Zakar yeah. has a question. All right, Zakar, uh, my cat friend. What is prison? Prison <laughs> is a structure designed to keep and contain... Uh, those who have broken cardinal rules of society. Doesn't sound very nice. It's a cage. It's like a really big cage for lots of people. Oh, like box. Yes, like a box, but one you can't leave. Oh. It's like a I closed like box. box. I don't like nothing else. <laughs> yes. Now, you will be able to leave. There's a guy in there. Um, he goes by the name of... She checks her notes. Um, Gray. They just call him Gray. So he's one of the older prisoners. He's been there for a long time. Uh, served his debt, but never really managed to figure out how to live on the outside. So he stays in there and um, passes on information when things get dangerous. So when it's he's time for you, become institutionalized. Pretty much. So once it's time for you guys to leave, I'm going to need you guys can just let Gray know, and he'll be able to get word back to me, and I'll be able to let you out. Um, what if people that aren't us ask him to leave, does he let them out as No, well? no, I've let, I've let him know that you're coming. Okay. So, it's just because he knows about you, he'll be able to get word to me, and then I can let people out. Okay. How do we know what he looks like? Uh, he's an older fella, got a scar across his eye, uh, and a big old grizzly beard last time I, I met him. Is he stood to the left of me? Is it this one here? No, human. Human. Is this not a human? That's a dwarf. This... Hey. I'm very confident this mission's going to go great. Um, very confident. Uh, I haven't put my career on the line. Breaking a bunch of people into a prison without letting any of the security there know. Yeah, this will be great. Couldn't you just break the guy out of the prison and then we pretend to be prisoners and talk to him and then you break him back into the prison? That way it's only one person and it's easier. Uh, I mean, I can't really break him out without letting him people know what Gray, that Gray's, um, you know, uh, a snitch, which probably wouldn't be good. I also don't want him getting out of prison at all, if possible. Um, also, oh, he doesn't, well, that's, you know... That's my second plan gone, then. I mean, if you can convince him you're going to let him out of prison and get him to tell you or something, but uh, it might be necessary to, to earn his trust, I'll be waiting in the inn across the, the way, and I can, if you can get a word out to me somehow, I can maybe come and help you once you've broken out. Okay. Oh, um, I have a question. Shoot. What do we know about the clasp that could be useful in proving to him that we are part of the clasp? Oh, um, handshake. I don't know. I'm, I'm not really a rogue myself or criminally tight. Uh, there might be some thieves can't that they use. Um, so I can't know thieves can't. That, that might be helpful. Wait, is this a thing you actually know or something you're just telling us you know now? Because so so you, you just have a habit of claiming you know stuff and then it gets to the moment and you don't know it. Zakar makes a rude gesture at Sophia that maybe in Thieves' Cant. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Thieves' Cant looks a lot like the middle finger. Who who knew? <sighs> I don't think that's Thieves' Cant. I think that's Dutch. Oh. <laughs> Fair enough. Cool. I I have no further questions, Your Honor. I'll just show him all the cool scars and be like, I got these while doing crime. He'll believe us. It's that all. could work. I don't know. But yeah, just get in there. Find out what um, where the class hideout is. Uh, you'll have to get to find him first, probably, 
Uh, and be careful, because I don't actually have much influence at the prison, and have not informed any of the possibly corrupt prison guards of what I'm doing. <clears throat> I'll give okay. you more money when this is done. Oh, okay. Oh, well. Money. I'll give you with money. I don't know what... Okay. Okay, good. Uh, that's the prisoners coming now. Um, so you hear, like, the noises of a cart. Um, outside, coming up right to the door. You've never heard a cart before, have you, Matthew? <laughs> <laughs> Ma! Uh, and then uh, Kima goes outside, and a minute or so later, uh, comes back in, leading um, three, four naked men who are all chained together in manacles um, into the room. Hi, guys. It's lovely to meet you. Uh, Hello. Are you? Would Would you care for a drink? Do you have money? To pay for a drink? Uh, no. I will. Here, I'll just put like here's a bunch of gold. I'll put it on the bar, and that will cover them. Cool. So these are the guys whose place you're going to be taking for the the next day or two, depending Which on how fast you done. It doesn't really matter. They They'll just have a name and a crime at the place they're going to. So just yeah, as long as four people show up, they'll they'll be happy. As long as, and they'll they read out some names. Them, some of them are now female. Nope. Okay. You're gonna you're gonna bl bluff and last. I think you're gonna need it. <laughs> yeah. Is this like my mustache. The problem problem I is to fear women like us. Uh, we, we wouldn't get on very well in a prison because it's mostly full of bad men and bad men do horrible things to women. That seems rather dark subject matter for the world of Taldori. So, not so much here. <laughs> uh, isn't Joe's corpse in this building at this... Joe's wife's corpse and his own original corpse in this building at this very moment? And that's, his that's not, body's not dead yet, and that's, his wife's corpse is in a demi-plane. That's not oh, the setting's okay. fault, that's the player's. There, there's a difference. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my point is clearly retracted. Okay. So, anyway, uh, if all of you could strip off, you'll have to leave your gear and equipment here. I will put it in a cart outside of the place that will be magically warded, so the only people able to enter the cart will be you. Just in case you manage to break out and get to the uh, in front of the prison. Ah, invoking the rights of DM bullshit for story purposes. I like it. Of course. Of course. Barrow will strip off down to his skeleton. <laughs> uh, Lady Hibbert goes... <laughs> ah! oh, I, appear to have, I appear to have stripped off a bit too far. Is this going to be an issue? Yes! You're clearly a skeleton! <laughs> Where's your turtle shell? I, I, what am I seeing I, here? I, I removed it. Oh yes, of course, sorry. You, you, were, definite, you were definitely a skeleton! I mean, I could put something else back on it if it's an issue. You have to be naked! It's part of the whole... You can't have clothes on! I don't have clothes on or skin on. I thought they'd be happier with this. No! No! Spell that could help. What make Sparrow look like she has a, you know, a body? Yes. Uh, uh, yeah, sure. I mean, it's going to have to last for a while. You could be in there for days. Do you have somebody who could... Help? Someone who maybe can cast seeming? Wait, wait. We're gonna be naked for days? No, no. You'll you'll get clothes once you're there. What? So maybe what only a little while. So the pop naked through the town. Uh, you'll be in the back of a closed-off cart. We don't let prisoners, you know. Yeah, but I'll be with these people. I'm offended. Uh, the problem with with seeming is it makes you appear as if you're say like a naked man. If you then put on, say, a hat, you then look like a naked man and nobody can see the hat because of the magic. Yeah. Dad well, told me that. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what to do. Uh, my yeah. boy, sh it, it's all right. I might have a solution. Oh, uh, you I, I couldn't so help but, but over <laughs> here, uh, over there. <laughs> Sound what? Uh, orc, I realise uh, only certain... People can see the token, but there's an orc token. Uh, <laughs> okay. <that> just there. <laughs> uh, 
Spyro, my lad, I, I may have a solution to your problem if, if you follow me into the skinning room. I mean the kitchen. Come along, everyone. Oh, yes. Oh, there's so, a lot of raccoons here. Yeah. I, I said everyone. I meant Sparrow and the raccoons, clearly. Uh, you you all, I, oh, only so many people allowed in the kitchen at time. Health and safety. All right, pretend you're in the kitchen and we're not just standing behind the bar. Uh, <laughs> what suit of skin would you like? We got ourselves a halfling here, goblin here. Uh, uh, don't don't ask me. Oh, this is Baron Blue Blood. Uh, he's a bit pickled by this stage, but it was a nice man. Uh, I got a fire, fire Janassi. Yeah, oh, the fire Janassi. Yeah, now, it might be a little loose down. on you. He was six oh. foot one, but uh... <laughs> that's, that's that's okay. I will. Oh, that that bit of rope there. We'll put the skin on, and then we can just yeah. tie it round like a belt. Yeah, yeah. I got some stilts here. Uh, maybe give you the extra height. How, how does that sound? Uh, okay. Colonel, Colonel's idea that one was. Does, does that mean I'm going to roll performance checks every now and then to make sure I don't fall flat on my ass? Uh, maybe dexterity saving throws. We'll see how the night progresses. <laughs> okay. oh, the raccoons. So Sparrow puts on the, the body Ow. of the male fire genasi. <laughs> Finally male. Just that she always wanted. <laughs> Yay! And uh, uh, he returns back and you come out and he was... Oh, good. There's a fire genasi. Would you be willing in taking this uh, this case it's instead of the uh, the skeleton? That just wouldn't have worked out. It's ungodly creep. It's gonna. It's not gonna look like a fire genasi. It's gonna be this loose skin, <laughs> like with a skeleton moving around inside, kind of awkwardly flapping about the place. Like, yeah, I'm a fire genasi. Uh, my name is Garrow. I would happily help out. Yeah, Lady Kima nods, um, like, yeah, that's definitely a fire genasi called a garrow. She is very easily convinced. Um, yeah, so if, if everyone could strip down to their ski well, I'd say to their skivvies, but skivvies have to go off too, and uh, put themselves in chains, and I am a paladin of Bahamut, and this is not weird at all. Alright, no problem. <laughs> Done. Lady Kima, can I have one more question? Um, Are you maybe going through some difficulties at home or something? I'm worried about you in this recent turn of events. I've I've been under. <laughs> 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 well, uh, <laughs> clearly a fire genasi called Barrow. Um, no, no, everything's fine. I mean, I'm in a long distance relationship right now, which is difficult. Um, but and work is stressful. And I'm the only halfling paladin in town, but yeah, everything's fine. Just you know, it's it's good. Well, if you ever need somebody to talk to, I'm I'm always there for you. I, I, we're all there for you. And you flop like a boneless hand onto her shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, thanks. You you seem like a a trustworthy sort. So yeah, I'll I'll bear that in mind, Barrow, Garrow. I I hope that my Fiery skin to Ganassi you have fire. It isn't uh, too hot for you. Uh, I just hope no one knows what a Ganassi actually looks like. We might get away with this. <laughs> there aren't many in that no, no. so. No, no, they all look like this. Honest. <laughs> They're all very poor skeletons. They didn't deal with much blunt force trauma in their homeland of fire, you know. <laughs> does, it, does this give me some protection for the blunt force trauma? <laughs> very, very common among their people. You, you can consider it, uh, Sparrow, that you're wearing leather armor. Um, <laughs> Thank oh, you. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, does everybody strip down and get into the oh, chain? Sophia doesn't. <laughs> She's a lady! She's not getting naked in the pub! <laughs> I, mean, I don't know what ladies you've met, but... Uh, yeah, uh, Lady Kimmy said, look, Sophia, I understand, you know, it's, it's awkward, you get to a certain age and stuff starts sagging and, but, it's, hey, it's fine, hey. this is for the greater good, you know, this is in order the to greater good. bring a <laughs> criminal to justice good. and, it, it's, it's part of a ruse, w would you prefer to like, cast some sort of spell on yourself so that you, 
you appear naked. Uh, you'll have to you know be naked underneath the spell because it's. Well, you, know. you can. Mm. Because they'll feel closed during the inspection, but... Okay. Sophia has to disguise herself to give herself some very loose, rough, bog-standard prisoner type... I don't know. Like, she's wearing a sack. Lady Kima, like... Naked. (laughs) And then she takes her clothes off. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. There we go. Don't worry. They give you clothes what, pretty what soon when they get in. Rolls to see through the illusion. <laughs> the best I can do. <laughs> okay. So um, you are going to be. Uh, you do have to give up your gear though, because it's just a case of like they will notice it during like they give you a cursory inspection when you go in. Yeah. Okay. Um. If we have any spellcasters in groups, Akan may be able to hide certain items in his... Rectum? Um, very difficult and very fluffy, so they, they may not find things. Well, I mean, my uh, druid focus is a petrified grub curled up in a ball with a chunk bitten out of it from when I got hungry. You, if you want that on you and your fur, you go right ahead. Curiously, most people don't want to touch it. Does not bother a car. Do you think you'd be able to hide this um, great axe somewhere <laughs> in your fur, or is, is that taking it a bit too far? <coughs> uh, that might be challenging. I could try. Mm, uh, you know, uh, that's a good yeah. idea. They'll find the great axe and they'll assume there's nothing else on him. <laughs> it's, it's a good distraction. But wait, that means I'd lose my great axe. That's no, fine. I, I want to keep it. <laughs> It's your minus two strength great axe. Shut up! <laughs> Make fun of my strength. That the small creatures are totally allowed carry. They, they hey, can carry them, they just can't use them very well. <laughs> uh, yeah, Zakari, is there anything you would like to try and sneak in? Or anyone wants to try and sneak in? Um, well, uh, I can try to sneak in uh, Barrel Watch's focus. Yeah, that's fair. Try and hide it in your in your beard. I imagine Barrel Wash could probably do that in his beard. Yeah, there will be a roll though about how well you've hidden it. So, oh. a, uh, a sleight of hand check. Okay, I can do that now if you want. I'll do do it when we actually get to the uh, to the guards. It's more fun. Oh no, I won't have my gloves then. <laughs> so you will not. Just, just be careful. That was my favorite grub. I don't want to lose him. <laughs> You can keep your grubs bonus for that, because you would have hit it in later. I just want it to be like, we're not aware until the moment if they're going to spot it or not. Wait, can uh, can you swallow it and then retrieve it later? I think your grubs uh, get digested. Well, it's it's not like a regular grub. It's about the size of my fist, and I've got big fists for a dwarf. Oh. Yeah, they're, I used to farm them before oh. I got my uh, my new calling. I mean, if you want something to swallow something that doesn't have a digestive system that might damage it, Janassi um, <laughs> don't have digestive systems. Oh so. man, how much could we hide inside your skin suit? <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> <laughs> They'd all Are require any... sleight of hand checks. <laughs> just, just these prison guards feeling this fire, Janassi going, you're weirdly lumpy and slightly <laughs> axe-shaped. <laughs> People should not rattle. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was a mistake to try and sneak in a thousand ball bearings. <laughs> Just <laughs> the rattling of my bones, it's fine. Barrow, Wait, barrow fine. coughs and several arrows fall out of his mouth. Oh, okay, so far hiding wise, we've got uh, we've got a grub. Uh, spell focus for barrel wash. Do we want to try and sneak anything else in? No, I'm good. No. Uh, uh, do we need to? No, we need a shift. Okay, that's fine. So just uh, just one grub. All right. And wait, that... wait, wait, wait. Do we want to try and sneak in a shiv in case, like, we like we're in the showers and there's a guy that we've got to a kill, and we we can't like drown him because it's a shower and not a bathtub. So we have to ha ha stab him in the back. Well, uh, I can do this with my claws, so I'm okay. Okay. You can miss oh. horribly. 
I never wrote in the description for this spell. And then do acid damage? What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what this spell does. Turns oh, okay. part of me and turns either teeth or claws. Um, animal-like ones, but for some reason it does acid damage. Hardcore. I'll be uh, copying and pasting an actual description in there while we're getting on with things. All right. So, yeah, if you guys want to sneak anything else in, you are led uh, to the cart, uh, all bound up like prisoners. Uh, you enter said cart, and uh, there's a, a man in the front who, like, Lady Kima has a quick word with, hands over some money to, and they, you guys trundle off. Lady Kima waves at you and, you know, wishes you good luck. And you guys, you all go to jail. So, the cart pulls up at prison. Uh, you are led inside of a large building. Better double check I've got everything set up here. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, past some guards, all still chained together. And they go, all right, line up in front of the clerks. There, in front of the clerk. And they, they indicate for you to line up here. What's this thing on the floor? Ah, uh, that's that's um, what's it called? A chandelabra that for some reason. Guys, your chandelabra chandelier's fallen on the floor. Budget cuts. Line up. <laughs> we line up here. <laughs> Fuck the system. <laughs> All right, somebody like shoves you forwards. <laughs> oh, Just... sorry, I, I genuinely misunderstood. Line up there. <laughs> We're lined up! <laughs> I'm confused! It's like how I was promised a box. <laughs> um, <laughs> these, uh, the jailers kind of move behind you, uh, in particular this kind of older, um, more senior looking jailer, and gives you a, a good shove uh, five foot forwards. Ah! <laughs> and then drags you back another five foot until you're in the right spot. Right, move. Don't make me beat you on your first day. Uh, mm. You guys line up, and uh, a mousy-looking man, um, kind of, what's the term, uh, scraggly hair, uh, looks like he hasn't shaved in a few days with spectacles, sees you all line up and goes, ah, good, here they are, I'm, I'm Warren Willem, I'm the, I'm the, uh, the clerk here, and uh, yes, you are my new prisoners, um, welcome to the Redemption Centre, where you will be spending the, the majority of your internment here. Uh, yes, good. Which one of you is Bob? I think that might be me. Step forwards, please, Mr. Bob. Uh, hello. Hello, yes, good. Let's see, let's see, it's Bob, and you're in for... Could you roll uh, a d10 for me, please, Bob? I, I can certainly try to do whatever that thing you asked me to do. No my, my, my voice changed there, indicating that I was no longer speaking as the GM. Uh, yeah, but, because this is Vasselheim, though, all of the crimes aren't, you know, affiliated with violence or being naughty to people, so this is for stealing sweets. Uh, let's see. Yes, you are in. You are here today. Uh, my God. He looks up kind of surprised, like, you're that Bob. Yep. Bob, Bob oh, the bloody, the legend himself. That's me. Bob the <laughs> bloody bludgeoner, the hired killer. Oh dear. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, lots of killing. That's that's certainly me. <laughs> well, you're going to be spending a, a long time with us here. Um, personally, uh, there was a lot of people who wanted you you put to death, but it seems as this this is going to be where you'll be spending your time. Uh, Bob the bloody. Yep, I'll be here a long time, and I, I give him, like, a knowing wink. Yep. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. Um, uh, uh, Dav Davris, would you would you want to, to check him over? And uh, this, this more senior um, jailer comes over, gives Bob, like, a, a pat down, a rather furrow search. You have to squat hey. over a mirror. And then he, uh, <laughs> and he, he goes back to his place and goes, he has nothing on him. Um, all right, next up is, is, um, is, uh, what's a good name? Is, um, Jane. Is there a Jane here? Oh, that's me. I want to be that one. <laughs> <laughs> Please keep it 
down, miss. Uh, miss, your turn will come. Uh, could you roll a d10 for me, please, Adam? <laughs> I've got the Googles. I'm a three. You're a three. Ah, yes, of course. <laughs> I'm free. Great. Um, off you go. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, of course. Jane. Ah, uh, yes. Jane the Jabber. The famous enforcer. Yes, you've you've knocked over your you've enforced your last enforcement. I don't know what an enforcer does actually. Um, welcome. Please uh, get back in line, Jane the, the Jabber. And uh, this jailer comes forwards and gives you a check over. Um, pulls a few <laughs> loose bits of skin. <laughs> Excuse me. Could you please put that on once you're finished? Because I don't want to have any holes. <laughs> Looks at you and goes, You Janassi disgust me. And steps back into spot. Um, let's see. Next up is Grigori. Is there a Grigori here? Ah, uh, that might be me. Ah, yes, Grigori. Yeah, no, in, for his crimes in, um, could you roll a d10 for me? Five. Known for his crimes in... Ah, yes, Grigori the Highwayman. You've uh, been stealing a lot from the highways that are around Vasselheim to its many, many outlying villages. <laughs> it's not stealing, it's merely purloining. I do not know what that means, but you should stop it. Uh, you'll be spending a fair bit of time with us, I'm afraid. Those are some serious charges against you. All right. <laughs> And uh, finally, ah uh, yes, uh, uh, Fatty O'Brien. Is there a Fatty <laughs> O'Brien here? Yes. <laughs> Clearly an ironic nickname. Uh, please uh, step forwards, Fatty. Um, or do you prefer O'Brien? <laughs> no, no, Fatty is fine. It's short for Fatima. A ah. very fat noble name. Mm. Really? Because I have it just down here as fatty. <laughs> yeah, well, it's easier for you commoners to pronounce. It's on your birth certificate, dear. <laughs> What's on Jayla has somebody's birth certificate? <laughs> it's not, it's not <laughs> yes, uh, could you roll a d10 for me? <laughs> yeah. Ten, 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 ten. <laughs> for don't one, one. one. Oh. I, I wanted 10 because um, I'm rolling this from the criminal background with two additions, 9 and 10. Uh, 10 was sexual deviancy. Um, <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, however, um, you are Fatty the Burglar. Fatty O'Brien the Burglar. He, he had to slim down to get through windows. <laughs> <laughs> the nickname stuck. Right, very good. I gotta say, compared to a hired killer, a highwayman, and an enforcer, you're you're a lot less intimidating. Um, Sakara, could you roll a sleight of hand check for me as Jailer Davris uh, pats you down? Uh, yes. What did we get? Fourteen. Yeah. Okay, he can beat that maybe. I was hoping they would get. By you were hoping they would forget, you mean you were hoping I would forget? Yes. Ah, uh, what's this? No outside food, he says, and takes the grub out. Oh, that's my uh, favorite snack. I, I'd appreciate it. It keeps me from, you know, murdering things to, to, to keep up with a snack. <laughs> make, a, make a persuasion check, for, or a deception check for me, Bobby the Bloody. All right. Well, um, he, I imagine uh, with a nat one, he bombs. He hits you with his dagger hilt on the head for four points of damage. Like, doof, just cult cocks you real quick with his dagger, and uh, puts the grub in his mouth and eats it. No outside snacks unless you've got enough to share. Hey, you should see what that'll do to a non-dwarf's digestive system. You'll regret that yet, buddy. <laughs> I don't know what you. Ooh. Uh, anyway, right, that's has got you all. We will die. 
<laughs> now, I'm going to need you all to, to head on up, follow me, and he, he, him and the guards begin to move on up this way. Also, I love that my name's kind of come out, Fatty O'Brien the Burger. <laughs> <laughs> did, I, did I put something wrong in there? I think we should yes. keep it. Just keep There's it. There's an inexplicable semicolon. <laughs> yeah. You're going the wrong way, Jane the Jabber, and uh, the veterans shove you off uh, in the correct direction. Oh, then why is this door locked? I'm trying to... Oh! Okay. That's way. Right. You're going into Gen Pop. You'll be given new clothes. Keep your head down and stay out of trouble, or the jailers will give you a hard time. Hopefully this is the last time we have to talk. And uh, he unlocks the door and pulls it open. Do you have the red key? <laughs> oh. Like, right, in. And he un he unclips each of your uh, things, your uh, manacles, and sends you in. Davis, uh, before I go, can I have my skin back that you stole? No. Borrowed. No outside uh. food. And, um, <laughs> yeah, you're all shoved inside. He's letting in a draft now. I don't know how you people cope. I'm going to have to send a letter to my brother to get another one of those clubs. <laughs> Yeah. It's like that is very sorry. Alright, so you were all... Gregory, very sorry. You try, Gregory. It's all good. So yeah, you guys are all shoved inside, and there is a jailer waiting. Uh, he has, like, some simple prison overalls, basically, that he's holding out. Right. Come and get your overalls. Guys, I don't know where we can take him. <laughs> what do the overalls look like? Ah, they're kind of, like, scratchy um, wool clothing. Uh, Ugh, it's so pedestrian. Gregory does not need this. Gregory's going <laughs> without. Do you have anything in, uh, like a, a vibrant pink? <laughs> well, if you put it on and I beat you for a little while, the blood might make it vibrant pink. You can try that. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I, don't really have, blood. I don't really have any blood. Um, How are you with bludgeoning blood. damage, son? And he, he, uh, he hits his uh, club against his, his other hand. Ah, uh, I don't know. It's okay. <laughs> Take your outfits and get moving. Okay. Thank What's you wrong? for my purple outfit. What's wrong with the ginger chick in here? Ginger chick? That's not very nice. And uh, I'm a murderer. We're not very nice. Oh, then we have something in common. And he like moves up to the bars very close. You can see he's actually chained to one of the walls. But he has enough. Wait, that's like, a man. That's a man? Yeah, there's uh, this half-elf man, a uh, little effeminate, looking like... Little he has effeminate? Uh, got his okay. teeth in between. He's like, I'm the jester. You might have heard of me in my work. And who are you? I am Bob the Bloody. I, Bob uh... the Bloody? Yes, the famous I, uh... murderer. Oh, this is delightful. I've heard of your work. That's definitely me, yes. And I am... Um... 100% totally familiar with you, and we should trade tips sometime. Of course. I mean, I was more about knives. I never really thought about exclusively killing through uh, bludgeoning people with frozen turkeys. But eating the evidence was an interesting plan. Very good. Yes. Uh, the, the beauty of it is if they survive the beatings, they might get salmonella for being constantly hit by raw chicken. But, uh... Like I said, we'll we'll uh, share tips later. Of course. I, I think I think that James the Jester used to lure men by pretending to be a woman. Uh, it didn't take much of a persuasion because. Oh yes, you should see them. my legs. They are fantastic. Yeah. Well, go on then. He flashes <laughs> a bit of leg. Oh, they are, they yeah. are fantastic. Like all half those are, legs. Those are definitely half egg, half of legs. Yes. <laughs> you can't even talk, Bob. You're so so enamoured. <laughs> I'll I'll be seeing you all around. Um, in the showers. If you ever need a ha little help with anything, let me know. I I could always use a few favors and a few friends in here. And he slinks back a little bit. Right. Um. So I'm just thinking, uh, fatty, that um we might yeah. be able to trade for like a harmonica off one of these prisoners or something, and then then you'll be able to you know. Do your, your burgling, so to speak. <laughs> yeah. As you guys move up, uh, you see this room has a bunch of um, a bunch of inmates in it, kind of hanging out, playing cards, uh, chatting. They look quite comfortable. 
Uh, Jane. Are, are these are these men as well? <laughs> <laughs> No, these ones are, are definitely uh, a group of women, uh, and another woman, very like scraggly haired, like throws herself against the bars when you get close by Jane and tries to grab you. Like she reaches out, tries to like grab your uh, sleeve and pull you closer. Could you roll? I imagine a... the arm comes off if she does grab yeah. it. Could you roll uh, a deck save for me? Uh, I'm inside now. I don't mind if somebody steals my skin. Uh, okay, yeah, that's, that's yeah, definitely good enough. Um, yeah, you, you manage to pull your arm away, and she goes back, I can see your skin. It's not yours. You should give it back. Or maybe give it to me. I know someone who'd like it. It's mine. I, well, I didn't pay for it, but it was given to me. <laughs> Therefore, it's mine. So, no. If I get bored of it, you can have it. I, I had something that was given to me, but then it was taken away. Oh, no. Yes, uh, maybe, the warden. What was it? Oh, I, it was a little thing of mine. Uh, a bracelet made of bone. The warden took it. It's in his office. If you ever I... uh, find yourself up there, make sure you keep an eye out for it for me, would you? I will do. Uh, anything to help somebody out. Does anybody else want anything from the warden's office while I'm on my way? Anyone? <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to lot of crystal meth up there, says a voice from nowhere. <laughs> Um, okay. Anything else? I'll be, I'll be back as soon as I can. She she just slinks off. Like just remember it. I can be useful once I've got my bracelet. Uh, I okay. think I had a nightmare about this girl last night. It's, it's lovely meeting you. You're a very beautiful young lady. <sighs> so are you. You're a woman, and not a man. Uh, all right, you move a little deeper in. Uh, you guys want you, you guys can obviously talk and stuff and keep a look at things. Uh, I have trouble talking. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's true. You are very shy. This is a very lax prison. They're not even making us sit in a cell. What the hell is that thing? <laughs> so in this cell um, is a the the most muscular cobalt you've ever seen, uh, wearing jorts and doing one armed pull ups on a bar hanging from the ceiling. <sighs> one hundred and seventy nine. One hundred and seventy eight. He just uh, keeps doing his pull-ups. Why did they let you bring jorts in and the rest of us have to wear these overalls? I killed a man for these jorts. Ah, man after my own heart. I too kill things. <laughs> you knew fish in here? Things. How? Wait, wait. How did they let him bring the jorts in? Do you know <laughs> something about how to get stuff in and out? It's a long line of people being killed just to get these <laughs> jorts. <laughs> He looks at you like, and sort of goes, There's a guy who can get your stuff in here. Right. What's his name? Smiling Jack. You'll find him over by the by the well. He's by oh. the well? Is that where his cell is? Or he just always hangs out there? He just hangs out there and does his business from that place. Can I do an insight check to see whether this person's insane or not? Yeah, sure. There's a prisoner that's always by the well. Yeah. You you get it's hard to read. It's hard to read that cobalt face. What did um, you do to get in here anyway? I assume uh, it wasn't the murder over the George thing or they'd have taken them off you. No, it wasn't that. I come from a community that's very strict on certain ways. But I didn't like math. I didn't like counting. I refused to bank. So I was thrown in here for my crimes. I am he who will not bank. The cobalt. What? From from what I've seen, you you were counting when we came across you. Do you think that you've got latent fantasy? <laughs> I killed a man for these jorts. What do you think I'll do to you? You bring bring up the contradictions of my backstory. <laughs> I mean, how how long have you been in here? I don't know. I refuse to do the math. <laughs> <laughs> so through my clever trap. <laughs> <laughs> he watches you like he, he side eyes you. It's like you remind me. I know you are sp a Janassi, but I smell goblin, the ancient enemy of the cobalt somewhere nearby. You guys see the goblin here? I am wearing goblin aftershave. You should take it off. Uh... It fills many cobalts with an incurable rage and need to kill by go by cobalt standards, which. Often involves running away, but still. 
I am. Um, I feel that it attracts dwarves, so that's why I keep wearing it. Oh yeah, that's how we met. Yeah, perfect. Uh, of course. As we all I'm know. an enforcer, by the way. Um, uh, so uh, I do a lot of things with uh, banking and attracting dwarves. Of course. We are natural enemies. Naturally. Grr. Grr. <clears throat> it's good seeing you, man. It's nice I seeing you. See you around. Thanks to meet you. I love your skin. Yeah. Some good skin you got there. Uh, I'll let you have it when I leave. All right, move a little deeper. You see there's, <laughs> we uh, always stand on the same spot. <laughs> we stand the same spot to see the prisoners. You can see a rather generic looking prisoner in one cell and a um, more interesting looking prisoner, a half orc covered in like tattoos, uh, sitting in a meditative pose in the middle of the room. Uh, I want to study the guy's tattoos. Does it look like he has a map of the prison <laughs> across his chest? <laughs> uh, roll, a, roll a perception check. And roll a religion check as well. Uh, okay, my perception. Good perception. My religion, okay. I think, is going to be garbage. Let's have a look. Here's yeah, the yeah, I was right. All right. Um, you, you look at the tattoos, and you do see a map of the prison there. Unfortunately, it seems to be of the area that you're currently in, which is just basically one big room with two things in the middle. So, not hmm. very useful. It also seems quite basic. Uh, you, you can't really tell anything else about them. Okay. I heard before that if you ever go to prison, on day one, you go to the biggest, most dangerous looking fella, and you beat the shit out of him to establish dominance. I think this fella might be a reasonable choice. Look at Wait. him. He could snap us in two. <laughs> You you mean you mean that guy? <laughs> the jailer looks at you and gives you a little wave, like "hello." <laughs> Hi. Would you say that you're particularly tough? Oh, I'm a pretty tough guy. I work better when I got my friends, though. A thug's oh, worth of me is truly dangerous. A thug's worth of anything is dangerous. I I once met a thug's worth of spiders. Oh, they were oh, terrifying. That, that does sound terrifying. Watch out I for bats. <laughs> Watch out for bats, okay. Yeah, thugs worth of bats can be real dangerous. Yeah. You're very chatty. I love my job. Aw, that's sweet. Get a These... beat people up while no one's watching. We don't even have security cameras invented yet, so we don't even have to try that hard to cover it up. Well, my, my job uh, as an enforcer, obviously not as a member of the Slayer's Take, um, you get to beat people up while people are watching, and then they give you money for it. That's it's an interesting great. idea. I might talk to my careers advisor about that one. Yeah, enforcers. We are hiring at the moment. Uh, if you give me a copy of your CV, I'll, I'll put in a good word for you. i got my business card right here. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. It just I says jailer on it, and uh, jailer number four on it. Um, mm. And on, ex on experience, it just has beating up prisoners. Is it quite a rigid cardboard that might be uh, useful later on? <laughs> I'll add it to my inventory. Yeah, I'll sure. rub it on rub it on the objectives that we come to later <laughs> when we're trying to figure out it's like you come to a locked door, okay, business card, no that doesn't work. Flowers, no. Oh I've got that butter, no. I'll try combining the butter and the business card. No. Is it the holy butter? <laughs> All right, just butter. Uh right. Jailer's business card. Alright, you got Jailer's business card. Hmm. Uh, I'll go back to talking to the. Uh, we gonna talk to these guys. Hi guys, love your tattoos. Your map seems incomplete. I'll try and get you a full map of the prison. <laughs> uh, the 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 fellow who's meditating kind of opens his eyes for a second, nods, and then goes back to meditating. Uh, the I other prisoner. Like a lot of friends, yeah. The other prisoner goes, "I'm a prisoner," uh, and appears to just be a random NPC without any backstory. Um, I think someone may have escaped and left illusion. <laughs> How dare you even talk to me, you random NPC with no backstory? Why on you? I bet you don't even have stats, you monster. I'm a, I'm a prisoner. <laughs> a poorly programmed illusion. Can I like pick up some dust and throw it at her and see if? Yeah, it goes right through. Uh, <laughs> definitely an illusion. Um, Probably a program delusion. Pretty good. They tried to hold someone yeah. pretty strong in here. Huh. I mean, 
something clearly noteworthy happened here, but it's really none of our business. Shall we? Yeah, we're not guards. Although, if you look at my business card, <laughs> it says I'm a guard. <laughs> 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 the jailer smiles at you as you say that directly in front of him. <laughs> your thumbs up. Where does he stick his thumbs up? You know where. Oh, oops. Oh. <laughs> Guys, we can't keep standing on top of one another. <laughs> I need my space. Oh, hi there. Oh, hi, strange prisoner guy. Well, hello there. Are you portrayed by Sam McKellen? One second. I am portrayed by so Nope, nope, nope. I can't just... He's literally Scottish, man. Yeah, I know he's literally <laughs> Scottish, but I'm very <laughs> posh Scottish. <laughs> and the accent struggles. Uh, it's like, yes, I am portrayed by Sir Ian McKellen. Flame of Udun! Uh, how can I help you? Are you, uh, are you new here? Um, perhaps... Depends what you mean by here. In in the prison, I haven't seen you before. Oh yes, uh, this is this is Fatty. I'm Jane. That's Grigori, and that's uh, Bob the Bloody. Oh yes, just just arrived today. Well, I'm Old Grey, and if you need any help, you let me know. Uh, I've been here a while, and I, I like to make sure everyone everyone's doing all right. Yeah, Keep things uh, here peaceful here. You know, you know a lot. Of, does he have a scar on his eye? Uh, he has a scar on his face, yes. It's actually on his cheek, now I look at it. But yeah, he has a scar on his face, big grizzled beard. It's not him, guys. The scar's <laughs> supposed to be on his eye. Unless he's moved it. Have you moved your scar recently? Uh, well, I did have a scar, and then I, I saved up for some healing magic, and it was oh. put away. Uh, it was across my eye. And uh, the next day, uh, I got the shit kicked out of me in the shower. And, uh, well, you know, it's what I get for my hubris, I suppose. It's Typical. As soon as you get rid of the scar, somebody gives you a new one. You know what? I'll see if I can get some funds together so you can afford the surgery to make your face as pretty as it was again. Oh, Nobody you're, you're, likes a scar. You're a kind, Janassi, you are. Um, well, let, let, uh, don't let me keep you. Just let me know if you need anything. I, I actually know a little little healing magic of my own, so if anyone gives you a hard time, I'll, uh, I'll say a prayer for you and, and see what I can do. I'm sure you'll see us again, and Jane's going to, using both his fingers, or her fingers, sorry, make the eye on the Janassi wink, because obviously oh. he doesn't have any muscles. It's like, oh. we'll see you again <laughs> soon. <laughs> he, he grabs both of his eyelids and makes his blink. And it's like... See you soon. That's the embarrassing understanding between you two. Mm. Good. I, I suspect that he's a skeleton in an old man costume. He has now, to wink and blink the same way I do. No, lads, I, I don't want to distract from our conversation with this man or anything, but have you seen the beard on this guy? <laughs> there is it's something like he has a feed bag attached to his ears. <laughs> I think that this guy is played by Sasha Baron Cohen. <laughs> I don't know who this Sasha Baron Cohen is, but you get away from my cell, you fuckers! Yeah, away with he! I want my oh. <laughs> hash. I want my privacy, please. Oh, like Maybe you could get yourself a new grub off him, Bob. No, they are my grubs. <laughs> Go away. But but you must tell me how you make your beard do that. That doesn't even look natural. It's called a good cle a good holy cleansing routine. Well, we're gonna be here <laughs> for a long time. Gives a knowing wink. So, you will have lots of time to take tips. No, I don't right. want to ever speak to you again. You seem like a little asshole. I think you've got wandering accent syndrome. It's a very common illness in Vasselheim. Indeed, it is It is transported sexually. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it is rampant in this prison. <laughs> You'll have it within a day. Spread mostly by oral sex, I assume. <laughs> You're already very worried. This is... Strange place. Strange, strange place. I, I'm gonna uh, move on now. Nice hat, by the way. Oh, thank you. I go fuck yourself. <laughs> Where is the accent now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she might. I am gonna push the guy in the well. He's definitely not gonna be of any use to us. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how can I? What the? <laughs> <laughs> 
Yes! Is Sparta! <laughs> uh, do, you, do you push him in the well, or do you just... No, I'm not going to push him okay. up, with my minus two to strength. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to say it. Gently tickle him. <laughs> ah, hey there. How can I help you? I don't know. How can you help us? Oh, I can do a lot to help you, friend. I have, uh, I have my ways. You seem, uh, you seem new here. Give it a week, you're going to be missing those outside comforts. Things like soap and not being randomly stabbed in your sleep. I can supply such things. I can supply security, home comforts, all sorts of wonderful things. Are you coming on to me? I, I just want to be sure I understand the situation. I mean, you know, you I do like a beard on my men, but I think I, I think what passes is a bit... Look, I'll, I'll be... I'll be straight for you here. My name is Slim Jack. I'm a... Uh, how do you say? Good at procuring things that uh, people people miss from the outside. So, you let me know if you need anything, and perhaps I can find a way of getting it for you. You need a shiv? Get your shiv. You need a saucy magazine? Nods at Fatty O'Brien. I can get you a saucy magazine. You need a b comb for your ridiculous amount of body hair? I can get you that. You need stilts mm. so you look less short. I can get you that too. Just don't have my stilts. <laughs> uh, you, you never. You, uh, yeah, you're probably wearing them. I assumed they were inside the legs. Yeah, they're inside the yeah. legs. Well, the guy that patted Sparrow down did a really bad job. <laughs> yeah, he wasn't very good at his job. Let me know if you need anything at all. Not a problem. We will do. Uh, what sort of payment do you accept for these things? Is sexual favors acceptable or. Damn right, it's acceptable. However, I normally take my payment in spice. Spice? In spice? You got spice. <clears throat> spice? Okay, oh. um... Oh, I'll be back in a second. I'll just go and pick up this key that somebody idly left on the floor. Uh, Don't touch it, it's a trap! Trailers. You guys left a key! Hello! You it explodes it. as soon as you touch it, it's a trap. Oh, oh. I, oh, I was going to open this cell over here. It clearly seems very wholesome in there. <laughs> Uh, so uh, uh, I think all the prisoners should, just came should straight Should there be dynamic light? There, there should indeed be dynamic lighting right there. What do you mean? There's there's dynamic lighting there. Look, there. It's, I can't I can't see anything. Through. There's definitely dynamic lighting. God damn it! Adam. <laughs> I'm inside. You can't stop me. <laughs> it's like, uh, <laughs> Are there actual bones around the well? <laughs> uh, Slim Jack looks at them and goes, "Yeah, I've always wondered about those." <laughs> um, sorry, all the people who were inside the uh, the room we're not supposed to see just flew out of it. Was that meant to happen? Yes. They're meant okay. to be where they are now. <laughs> oh, right. Uh, Gregory will take a bone. <laughs> Alright, you pick up a bone. Uh, it has like a weirdly kind of like wooden texture to it and feels a little rotten. Yeah. I will hit it against the wall. It breaks, and you can see it's very old, like, rotten wood. Um, so oh, then... somebody's been carving wood into bones. I can appreciate that. I do that when I'm bored. A little strange. Not very useful. Hmm. Yeah, bones were kind of dog Oh, no, but you can stab people. <laughs> do you know nothing about prison? Well, no. Good, neither do I. You didn't even know what prison was. You can't judge me. Large box. Well, lads, for a group so inexperienced in prison, I think we're doing pretty good so far. I've only been punched in the head once. Wait, who punched you? One of the guards. The guards, when I tried to take my grub back off him, remember? He hit me with the hilt oh, of his dagger, yeah. which is like the second most useful way to use a dagger in trying to hurt someone. Oh, I was thinking about something else, sorry. Hi, guys. Hi um, there. How you doing? Oh, I'm good. Uh, skin's a bit loose and it's kind of irritating. Yeah, it's uh, annoying when it happens. It happens when I stop my protein diet. You know, skin gets yeah. a bit loose. Hard to work out here in prison. You think you'd have all the time? Anyway, sorry, you didn't want to hear about that. Uh, oh, didn't I? Okay. Oh, sorry, I can, I can go on a bit. I mean, you'd think the workout regime would be easy here. You know, got all the mm -hmm. time, but we, they haven't really given us any decent fitness equipment. So it's pretty much nothing but push-ups and they get boring. And if you try and do like a little runs around the block, the guards think you're trying to escape, and they tackle you or fire a crossbow into your leg. So, do you, you not know. even get yard time? Uh, I mean, no, we just get allowed to wander around the uh, the communal area as we see fit until lockdown. 
okay. A lot That's of stabbings awesome. happen. Uh, but anyway, hi, I'm uh, I'm Loose Lip Tom. Pleasure to meet you. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that. I hear that you can have surgery to have those sort of things tightened up. <laughs> uh, if only my <laughs> wife would have <laughs> taken that, I might have. <laughs> if only my wife hadn't t had taken that, I might not have ended up in prison. <laughs> Am I right? And punches Jane in the shoulder. Ow, bludgeoning damage. I mean, <laughs> oh, um. uh, Anyway, uh, fuck off. Oh, okay. It's, it was nice chatting to you. Oh, do you want anything from the warden's office? I'm going there later on. Um, no, no, I'm I'm good. Thank you. Okay. okay. What if he has some gym equipment? Will we bring that back? You know, yeah, yeah. If, if you can do me a favor, a few... uh, if you go visit the warden at any point, talk about maybe having some gym equipment put in here. Uh, yeah. You know, it would probably help keep people stressed down and, you know, improve the overall health of the uh, prison. There's a very good chance that Jane's going to go around making lots of false promises and then just get shivved, <laughs> shanked in the shower. Yeah. You know when Jane does arrive, you know, after being locked in the basement for a And just so you know, uh, that behind him there was a, a staircase sort of heading up the way. Are we supposed oh. to go up there and investigate as well? <laughs> I, I, I assume we were restricted to this level. It... It doesn't look like you're being restricted there by anything other than the the big guy standing there. And he's not a guard. But there was this big guy standing there just, like, blocking the path. This is a, a very minimum security prison. Yeah, it's almost like they just dump you in here and forget about you. Oh, uh, they're going to bugbears. <sighs> zombie bugbears. I'm not a zombie. <laughs> Fuck you. Well, you were just breathing funny. I have respiratory problems. Oh, well, that's very sad. Yes, without an effective way of working out in this prison. It's uh, really exasperated the issue. Are you prisoners or guards? We're prisoners. I suppose I was going to say in Goblin to him, do you uh, speak uh, the same language as me? Uh, he responds in Goblin, yes, brother, I speak the mother tongue. Excellent. Uh, a couple of questions that I want to ask you about the guards overhearing. I hope they don't speak Goblin. Um... We're uh, looking for some fellow class members. Do you have any idea who we're looking for and whereabouts we'd find them? Uh, roll a persuasion check with advantage for speaking his tongue. Uh, da, da, da. A 19. 19. Thank you for the advantage. <laughs> uh, yes, the class ball hangout on the second floor. Uh, it's supposed to be the, the more higher security area, but they treat it like they're a personal clubhouse up there. It is most well, protubatory. I agree. It's terribly embarrassing. Um, when you say second floor, is this kind of a an American sort of where the second floor is actually the first floor? Or? Yes, yes. Uh, sorry, yes, in okay. Goblin it is second floor, but in the in the tongue of the infidel, it is uh it is the first floor. I, I've been hanging around with infidels just for so long that I have no idea which is which anymore. I get so confused. You should be careful that you don't become a terrible blood traitor, and that we will one day be forced to destroy you. Oh, don't worry, I don't have blood. It's fine. It's Very fine. good. I'm, I'm actually... I'm actually a skeleton in disguise. I Mom's was wondering how a Janassi had learned to speak the great tongue of the goblin people. Oh, they're scum. I stole this one's skin. Hmm. Did you want some? Maybe later. We are getting quite hungry, and we have run out of jerky. Oh. oh. Well, here. Peels off a little bit of skin and hands it to him nom, for nom, later. Nom, 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 nom. Oh, well, okay. well, don't need you too fast. Sorry. It's all hiccups. You're right. Anyway, thank you for the information. Good seeing you around. But love the beer. Thank you. May the skittering gods keep you safe tonight. And you. Okay, guys. Looks at the other one's on. view and goes, "Fuck off." <laughs> let's, let's go now. They were uh, they were swearing at me in some weird language. <laughs> let's uh. Let's see, uh... Oh, yeah. There, there's oh, some... guys! There's, there's a tunnel in this one! Gods! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there, there's... There's, like, a pile of something in the corner there. Uh, when you get to there, uh, I'm going to need you to roll initiative as bats swarm down from the ceiling that you didn't notice and begin to squeak at you. Initiative it is. Ha! Beat that! Sweet Jesus. You winged motherfuckers. <laughs> Alright. This is... This is the best initiative rolls I've ever seen in my life. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> That's very good initiative rolls. So, Jane, you're first. Uh, yeah, these bats like seem angered that you've dared to enter their cell. Uh, you see they're all wearing little red bandanas. 
and carrying switchblades in their in their claws. Um, they come squeaking down towards you. What do you do? How insane is it that Bob rolled a 17? <laughs> He's last on the initial order. <laughs> what the fuck? It's pretty crazy. <laughs> let's keep let's keep the high rolls for when we might need them. Uh, Jane is. Uh, I don't really have anything to attack them with except my bare fists, and it's we've established. Yeah. I'm not very really skilled with those. Well, I've got to just run for a second because my doorbell just went, so I'll be right back. Okay. You can think about your actions.